Oh yeah, baby. Swipe bass. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to more than fishing. So now, as I have promised, I'm gonna make um, honey baked salmon. Oh, no, not salmon. Honey baked striped bass. This is the striped bass that I caught today. Um, this is the small one. It's about 20 inches striped bass. My favorite part of the fish is the belly. I, I don't know for some some reason that there's a lot of fat in there. <laughs> fat is the best. Anyway, so that's how I'm going to fillet it. I'm going to cut it from here and then cut it there underneath and I'm gonna going to include this this part so for some of you doesn't like this that's fine this is how I fillet it so I'll show it to you first I'm gonna cut it underneath uh, right here to the back so you gotta have to have a really really nice uh, sharp um, knife if you don't have that you know it's kinda you might get hurt so just feel the bones, you know, you see, you, you hear that? You gotta have to do that when you uh, filleting fish. You gotta have to hear the bone crack, like that. Okay, now, so, we're gonna, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna add the ingredients. We're gonna marinate it for about, it's really up to you since this one is fresh. You can go right away, put, put everything in it, the ingredients, and then go, Throw it right away in the oven, and you're, you'll be fine. It'll so I like starting off with the salt, because you know, salt is the first one, so that you know, and somehow it can penetrate inside the meat when it melted. You know, the next ingredients will be the the butter. So put butter on it. Fish. Fish. Yes, that's my daughter Pearl. She likes fish. I mean, she loves fish. And, uh, put next this one. Mayonnaise. I'm gonna start putting this. You know, you just grab a spoon, cover it, cover it with mayonnaise, and then the last ingredients will be. Oh no, the the second to the last is the mince or the garlic. I like you know the the cloves, and then I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna chop it like this. Don't don't get the the pre chopped garlic. Yeah, cover it with honey. Look at that. Um, I should call this uh, cooking uh, honey covered <laughs> striped bass, not or mayonnaise covered striped bass, <laughs> not honey baked striped bass. But, anyways, because you, you basically literally covering it with honeys and uh, mayonnaise. Now it's in the oven. See, this is a good thing with uh, this cooking, uh, baking. Um, you you don't really need the conventional oven. You just get a like regular oven toaster. Just put in a bake. Put a four hundred fifty or four hundred. Oh, now, after twenty five minutes, here we go. So, I think it's done. Oh yeah, baby, shred bass. It's hot. <laughs> J hook. Honey bake striped bass. Look at that. See uh, the brown thing, the brownish thingy that I'm talking about. That's how we want it. See, it's kind of like ow, hot. See, I'm not that pro when it comes to cooking. <laughs> I just like cooking. I love cooking. And there you go. It's gonna there. You see that? That's what I'm talking about. Shrimp bass. More than fishing. Smells good. I hope I can really, really, you know, describe it, how it tastes like. But I'm telling you, it's good. It's delicious. Honey bake. Shrimp bass. More than fishing. You know, honey bake is not. It's not hard to prepare. You need, you just only need garlic, honey, mayonnaise, salt, that's it. Of course, the striped bass. <laughs> you know, easy to slice, not that, it's not messy, not a lot of preparation. 
You just need an oven like this. You don't need a convention, a big one oven. You just need this, small one. 25 minutes, 20 to 25 minutes, and then you're done. You have very, very delicious food. That's how we do it more than fishing, baby. Sand crabs, hook. <laughs> Thanks for watching my videos. And for my next video, it will be me catching 37 inches striped bass. Yeah, baby.